Hey everybody, French in here with REIClub.com, the only site you'll need as a real estate investor. Today's quick video, we're gonna be talking about REO properties, also known as bank-owned properties. So what exactly is an REO? Well, this is when a bank actually foreclosed on a homeowner who has not paid their mortgage. The bank actually ends up owning the property after an unsuccessful auction. Now, when a home is actually at this stage, it's available to be sold at a discount because the banks are actually eager to get rid of this non-performing asset. Now, how is this different from a foreclosure sale? Well, a foreclosure sale differs from an REO in that foreclosures are done through an auction process. An REO sale is done directly with and through the banks and the mortgage companies, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about how do you find all of these REO properties? A great place to get started is the MLS. So you can actually search and filter through keywords and terms, um, and one of the ones you wanna search for are REO, bank owned and real estate owned. That alone should bring up a good amount of listings for you in your area. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna associate the properties with the realtor who listed them. These are the ones who are gonna have experience working with REOs, they're good people to call and good leads to, ha uh, good leads to follow up with. Another thing you can do is actually call the banks directly, Wells Fargo, BOA, Chase, and ask of the mortgage loan division and request for the REO listings. It's going to require a little charm, a little, you know, you're going to be talking to a decent amount of people, but eventually you'll get to the right person, okay? But it's very important that you present yourself as a serious person who can help take these non-performing assets off their hands. Another thing you can do, guys, is simply search online. What you can do is REO agent in, say, Austin, Texas, REO agent in San Diego, Colorado, whatever city you're in, just simply say REO agent. It's a good, it'll put up a lot of listings and just start calling people, ask for referrals and network. Uh, another great person to kind of get in contact and network with are mortgage brokers. They always have a network of real estate agents that they hand these REO listings off to that manage them for the brokers. So it's really good to network them and eventually, you know, through a relationship, they'll actually hand you off some leads. That's, a, that's the best way to kind of get your hands on properties before they hit the market. Another thing you can do too is auction and foreclosure websites. Um, not only are you going to be looking for properties, you're going to find who the properties belong to, which lenders, and then you're going to contact these lenders to see if they have the REO listings that you can further follow up with. Okay. Now these are just a few of the ways to find a lot of these REO listings. Now understand that REOs are usually sold as is. You can find some good properties, but the most of the ones that you are going to be investing in are going to require a bit of work. Okay. So if you are new to investing, we encourage you to get an inspection done, but understand it does hurt the speed of purchase. A lot of these good REO properties can be gone within 24 to 72 hours. But of course, if you're new to investing, you don't want to take any risks. So we, once again, we do encourage you to get an inspection done. You also want to be able to assess your repair costs because it does affect your profit margins and pay attention. Some lenders actually offer and add repair incentives and bonuses. A lot of times, like here's $15 to replace the carpet or roof repair. It kind of gives you a rough idea of what the property condition is before even looking at it, okay? So pay attention to that. That's usually in the notes. You also want to pay attention to see if any tax liens are attached to the property, whether it's something you have to take care of as an investor or if the mortgage company or bank will take care of it. That same, and that goes the same for if there's a, uh, someone currently living there, do you have to handle the evictions or will they? So that's important information. The less hassles, the easier it is for you. And of course, like any other real estate transaction, you have to do your comparative market analysis, okay? Pull your comps for similar property types and location. So everything I listed right here, guys, is your due diligence. Anything you would do for a regular real estate uh, deal, you have to do for your REOs. It's all the same. The last thing I want to talk about, guys, is the bulk REOs. Now, bulk REO are, bun are bundles of properties put together for, uh, by banks. They're packaged together and sold at a discount. A bulk package is usually what they refer to and also known as tape. These tapes contain 10 or hundreds or sometimes thousands of properties. And a tape is just nothing more than an Excel spreadsheet list of properties. And this is what you want to get your hands on as an investor so you can kind of cherry pick the properties you want to buy. Now guys, understand there are many opportunities associated with REO properties. You can flip them, buy and hold, rent them, and create multiple streams of income. As a real estate investor, bank-owned bank properties enable you to buy properties at a discount and then and it also actually offers a pretty nice return. But like any real estate transaction, guys, it's important for you to remember your due diligence and to keep your profit margins in mind because not every deal you find, especially if it's an REO, is not always going to be a good deal, okay? Again, guys, this is French with reiclub.com. Please take the time to leave comments below about what you thought about this video. Click the like button because it really does help us out. But more importantly, subscribe 
subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep informed when brand new videos are posted every week. As usual, guys, thank you so much for your time and continued support. I look forward to talking to you next week. Take care, good investing, and bye-bye.